So we'll do our warm up and then we'll do some heart openers today. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead. Spread your toes out. Lift your arches, sitting bones toward the floor, ribs in and up, shoulders down, and just reach your head to the ceiling. Find your inner yoga frame of reference, breathing in awareness along with the breath, and exhaling tension. And just take a few moments remembering yoga is a personal practice, do what's right. And we'll do our warm up. Inhaling, arms out. Exhale to your heart. Stretch forward. Keep those shoulders down. And hands behind you, fingertips clasp. Press them toward the floor and lift your heart. Stretch your head back. Exhale, pivot at your hips. Come on over. Bring your arms up toward the ceiling, head down. And take a moment to breathe, letting that low back start stretching out. Keep your chin tucked in and work your way up and lift your heart. Stretch your head back, shoulders down and lengthen through your spine. And then on a breath in, come on up and back into mountain. Take a moment feeling all that circulation. And again, inhale, stretch it out. Exhale to your heart. Stretch to the front, shoulders down. And as you exhale behind you, clasp your hands the opposite way. Press the fingers toward the floor, the head, the chest up, and pivot at your hips, exhaling over. And again, you can bend your knees if you want, or straighten them and lift your sitting bones. Bring your arms up. Take a breath. Just relax. And then on an inhalation with your chin in, knees bent, just wind your spine slowly back up into that upper body back bend. Stretch your head back and lift your heart. Take a few breaths. And then inhaling, come up and release. And again, just a moment to feel what's going on internally. Remember, that's the yoga part. And we'll do our side stretch. So keep one hand down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, and bring your arm over your shoulder. Stretch the fingertips away and lean into that side stretch. No twisting on this one. Get those ribs opening, reach out through your head and your fingertips, and press that foot a little deeper. Take a breath into those stretching apart ribs. And then inhale back up. Exhale the arm down and just feel that side and get ready for the other one. So arm out, palm toward the ceiling and again over your shoulders. Stretch those arms, hands away. Lean to the side, no twisting. Get those ribs opening. Push the foot you lean away from down and let fingertips and head out. Breathe, really feel those ribs expand, that whole side of your body opening. And then inhale up, exhale, and back into mountain. Take a moment feeling those ribs opened and the spine activated. And it's our twist time, so arms out, keep the shoulders down, palms toward the ceiling, and over your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, pull the arms back by your ears. Sitting bones down, hips open, shoulders to the front, lengthen up. Breathe in and exhale and twist. Knees a little bent if you want. Weight on both feet. Stretch up and pivot as you exhale. Coming over, forward bending in the twist. Then lift the hips, lift the sitting bones if you'd like. And relax through the whole upper body. See if you can keep your arms near your ears. And then staying in your twist, work your way up. Look toward the ceiling, pull your elbows back, shoulders down, heart high, and work into your upper body back bend. Remembering when you're twisted, be really careful with your low back. And then inhale up, exhale to the center, and switch those arms, shoulders down, stretch, breathing in, exhale, and into the other twist. 
Again, keep the weight on both feet, stretch as you breathe, and pivot over as you exhale. And again, just relax as you come into that forward bend, as deep as you want to be. And on an inhalation, staying in your twist, work your way up, looking overhead, elbows back, shoulders down, and heart high. And again, just stretch into that upper body for your back being. Again, inhale up, exhale to the center, arms up and out at shoulder level, palms toward the floor. Chest and chin lead, swan dive, coming forward, oh, pause it, parallel to the floor. See if you can get those hips and crown reaching away, fingertips way out, and then dropping into rag dog, just hang. Take a moment there, breathing, sitting bones maybe up a little bit more. And then slide your hands up on your shins and flatten your back, chin and chest forward, but maybe a little in with the chin so that back of the neck gets a good stretch too. And exhale back down, bring the arms out, flatten your back and pivot up. Keep those arms at shoulder level. And then reach for the ceiling, hands together, heart high. Exhale, hands to your heart. And keep following them all the way over into the elbow. Palms together. And just follow the hands up again. And keep looking at them as you bring them toward the ceiling. Extend shoulder blades down, shoulders down, hips open, and chest high. Keep looking at your thumbs, maybe pull them back a little bit more, lifting your heart a little higher. And then swan dive. So separate your arms, palms toward the floor, with chest and chin coming forward, all the way down, and into that. And again, slide your hands up, straighten your spine, stretch it out. And exhale back down. Hands together, and again to your heart. Follow them up, be in the process. Don't rush to the destination. Keep looking and lift your heart, pull those thumbs back even more. And then exhaling, follow the hands to your heart, and back into mountain pose. So just take a moment there, feeling all that circulation, especially across that upper heart area. And we're going to do a balance practice. So if you want your chair or your wall, get situated. Find your favorite balance foot. Spread out those toes. Lift them first. Get the base of the toes really connected. Keep lifting the arch down through the whole side of that foot and up through the crown. So shoulders, hips, ankles, everything lined up. Core active, so ribs in and up, heart nice and open. And we're gonna bring that other foot up a little, or more, or all the way up. And again, as you get into your balance, just circle that ankle for a little bit of flexibility, both directions, and flip that flex and point, and then slowly flip down. Shift to that other side. Again, get the base of the toes connected, spread the toes, lift the arch, feel that whole side grounding, growing roots. And again, make sure everything's lined up, core activated, shoulders relaxed, and bring that other foot. Remember, a little inner rotation so that foot doesn't cross over across the other leg. And again, whenever you get to wherever you want that foot, just circle the ankle a little bit, both directions, flex and point, and release. So we're going to do that heart opener dancer balance practice. So get grounded into your first favorite foot. Remember, easier foot first. Bring that same arm up. The other arm opens out, palm forward. So you're keeping the shoulder open and the heart nice and open for your dancer. And then sink into your grounded foot, get that core really supportive, and bring your foot into your hand, and then pull the knees back toward each other. Stay there, good dancer. 
or leap with your heart, pull the foot up behind you, and just pivot a little bit at that top of the thigh. So you're coming into your position, and then you're pushing the foot back and up as that heart leaps. Both shoulders still facing the front, so you're not pulling that weight out to the side. When you're ready to release, bring the knees back together, arm up, foot down, and both arms back to your side. So feel a little bit more heart opening after our balance. So take a moment, get connected into that other foot. So educate what you need to to get that whole supportive rooted balance through that bottom of the foot. And again, make sure everything is lined up. The ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, core active. The side you're grounding into, the arm comes up. Shoulder down, don't let it crunch up near your ear. Palm open to the front for that other hand. Sink into your foot and hold the ankle or arch and pull the knees back to you. Stay there or pivot and lift into your dancer pose. Hearts forward, both shoulders facing the front. Keep breathing as high as you want. And then bring the knees back together, foot to the floor and arm down coming back into mountain pose. Again, just feel that expansion across the heart, across the shoulders. And we're gonna to go to the floor. So reach up, pivot forward, lead with your heart. And bending your knees, come on down into child's pose. Lift back to your heels, hands next to your feet, and forward. Stand across the back of the heart, and relax. So remember, pad if you need to, and allow yourself just to come into that. Stretch across the upper back. And then inhaling, come on up. We're gonna do a couple of things on our knees, so you may want some padding under your knees. So if you have a mat, you can just fold it over once or twice and get some cushioning. If you have a blanket or a pillow, you can use that under your knees. So we're going to start with the um, toes tucked under. So if the toes tucked under version is too much for your toes, you can come out of it at any point. But we want to sit back on those toes with the toes tucked under. Keep it sideways. Mike. Get the toes tucked under and kind of sink back so we're also working the bottoms of the feet and the toes while we're doing this. So just allow your hips and shoulders to stay to the front. And then we're going to bring the right arm out to the side, turn the palm up, bring it over your shoulder. And then bend your elbow and bring the hand across the top of your head. Can't see that, can you? So across the top of your head, and then you're gonna hold that elbow right above your shoulder with your opposite hand, and turn the hand back to the back of your body and down onto your shoulder. So it looks like coming into that, and then keep pushing back with your hand on the elbow so it stays right above your shoulder, and back toward the back of your body. So you're getting a little bit more opening right across that front of your body. And you can still be on your toes. <laughs> so just allow that opening across the upper body. Take a breath. And then as you exhale, release that arm, bring them down, and then pull the arm, the right arm, across the lower back. And you can grab your wrist and pull it in. And then as you pull in, pull your heart forward and look up toward the ceiling. So that elbow is coming way in toward your waist on your right elbow. And the arm is kind of pressing into your whole lower back area. And your heart is even and expanding up toward the ceiling. And then chin forward, exhaling, release the arms. 
And you can come forward and release those toes and squish them out if you were still on your toes. And then we're going to do, of course, the other side. So once again, get those toes tucked under if you want, sinking back on your heels. And then the left arm comes out, palm up over your shoulder, palm toward you, bend the elbow, and then take the other hand, pull that elbow in closer above the shoulder, and then turn that forearm so that the hand comes right down on your shoulder and keep that elbow pulling in and kind of pushing down so that that hand slides down your shoulder, maybe a little bit deeper, opening across that heart chest area. So again, breathe. If you need to release those toes at any point, remember you can always do that. Kind of sitting bones toward the floor so that lower back isn't getting overworked. And don't forget to breathe. And then again, releasing those arms. Grab the wrist of your left hand, pull it across, pull that elbow in towards your waist. Press the arm into your back. And then looking up, lift your heart. So take a few breaths there. Just allowing that heart area, chest to expand. Pull the shoulders down and back. And then tipping your face forward, releasing your arm, coming back into kneeling. Then come up off your toes and let your hips sink down on your heels with the feet flat. So take a moment there, just feeling a little bit more expansion through that upper body. And then hands behind you, clasp the fingers and press them toward the floor and feel that heart open. And then as you exhale, we're pivoting at the hips, bring your forehead toward the floor, hands up toward the ceiling. And just let the whole body stretch through your spine. Kind of think about those shoulder, shoulder blades spreading apart behind you. So you don't have to press the heels of the palms together if that makes those shoulders crunch together too much. And then face to the front, lifting your upper body, bringing the hands back towards your feet, and look overhead, press the head back toward the wall behind you, and the hands further toward the floor if they want to go. So really heart opening all across that chest and upper heart area. And then inhale, coming up, release your arms, and again, just feel the circulation. And of course, we clasp one way, so we're going to have to do it again, clasping the opposite way, other finger outside. So again, if you need to release those ankles and circle them, you can do that first, and then sit back again, and clasp the other way, opposite finger out. Press the knuckles toward the floor, heart high, arch a little bit through that upper back into the back bend, and then as you exhale, pivot forward, rounding forward, forehead toward the floor, hands toward the ceiling, maybe a little bit more. And again, spread out through the back of your body as much as you can. Take a couple breaths, relaxing. And then facing forward, ground to the ceiling, bring those hands back down. And again, arching up into that upper body for a little back bend. And then chin towards your chest and release back into your kneeling position. And we're gonna come up onto the knees so that your hips are right above the knees and your shoulders are right above your hips. We're just gonna do a supportive cam. So bring your hands behind you Heel of the palm about shoulder blade level, fingertips down towards your hips, and then or rotate those elbows in toward each other so you feel that heart really spread open. And look up toward the ceiling, pressing your head back toward the wall behind you, keeping that upper body really in focus as it lifts toward the ceiling. So heart forward and up. 
Don't crunch the neck too much, so you don't want to really tip the head back. The chin doesn't need to go up. And keep those elbows moving toward each other. And then chin back toward your chest more and arms releasing, sink back down and slide off if you have the pillow. And then we're going to do one more thing. So come up onto hands and knees, table position. Lift the spine so that you're supporting your lower back. And we're going to bring the right foot out to the side, toes to the front. And then walk your hands back up your leg and into that kneeling position. So again, hip right above the knee and shoulder right above. Right arm on the right hand on the knee leg and left arm out, palm toward the ceiling over your shoulder. Slide into that side opening stretch without leaning forward or twisting. So both shoulders still face the front. Reach your head and hand away from your knee and just keep sliding that hand toward your ankle as much as it wants to go. So again, ribs opening, breathing, stretching, and relaxing. And then inhale, sliding up. Exhale that arm down, and hands back into table, flipping that leg in. Take a moment there, just repositioning if you need to, and take your left foot out. And again, toes to the front, walk the hand up your knee, up your leg, and keep those hips open forward. Left hand on the leg, that's out. Right arm out to the side, palm up and over your shoulder. Shoulder blades down, don't hunch the shoulders up, slide without twisting, opening through the ribs, through the side, taking a breath and relaxing. And again, just deepen as much into that side stretch as your body likes. Exhale, tension. And then again, sliding up, release that arm, Bring your hands down, leg in, and sit back on your heels. So again, hips down on your heels, feet flat, and spine straight. So ribs in and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down, everything facing the front. Bring your arms up to shoulder level. And we're going to do our twists. So really sitting bones and crown reach away. Keep those hands at shoulder level. Exhale. Then turn your whole body, remember, hips, ribs, and shoulder into the twist. Lengthen up. And exhale, turning back to the center. Keep those arms stretching out, shoulders down. Reach up through the crown. Exhale, pivot. Arms right across from each other as you turn your whole body to that opposite side. Then again, exhaling, coming into forward position and release your arms. Feel the spine a little bit more energized and breathe. So you can stay on your knees or you can come into a cross-legged position or staff position or you can sit with your back against the wall because we're going to do our relaxation in a seated position today. So get your sitting bones connected evenly. Ribs in and up, getting that core supporting your back. <clears throat> Heart open, shoulders down, crown to the ceiling. And we're going to do a breathing exercise. So just left hand goes palm up in your lap, right hand on top of it. And then bring your right hand <coughs> right in front of your face. <coughs> Sorry. And we're going to do a breathing exercise. So the <coughs> palm is right in front of your nose, fingertips up near the bridge of your nose. And then bring your thumb into the side of your nostril, blocking it off and exhale through your left nostril. 
and then inhale through the left nostril, bring the little finger down onto it, and lift up that thumb. And again, exhale from the right nostril, inhale, bring the thumb down, release the pinky finger, and exhale through the left. Inhale, pinky down, thumb up, exhale, inhale. And just at your own pace, continue that. Exhale as you start each side and then inhale and then switching sides. And as that breathing and movement becomes more automatic, you can release all the awareness of anything going on in your mind. Just allowing the breath to calm you. Allowing the peace to grow in your mind. Focusing inward. Shoulders relaxing. Being at peace. When you feel fully peace and comfort, you could just exhale once and release that hand back to your lap. Relaxing your shoulders, focusing inward. Just allowing yourself to be at peace. And when you're ready, just begin breathing more deeply, releasing, relaxing through your arms and shoulders, kind of moving them around, letting your body get a little bit more loose as you breathe more deeply. <clears throat> and when you're ready for your final hug of appreciation, just uncross your legs or unbend them or bend them and pull them up towards your heart, wrap your arms around. And again, just give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work it does for you every day. And when you're ready, just release that hug and appreciation thought and get ready for the day and the weekend ahead. So thanks for joining me. Hope you feel all heart open for the rest of the weekend.